after Hurricane Milton barreled across Florida, spawning deadly tornadoes. Rescue crews waded through flooded streets to check homes and assist residents. The storm was significant, but thankfully this was not the worst case scenario. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis said that while the storm was not as bad as feared, the damage was still widespread. We are just beginning damage assessment. We have 10 confirmed fatalities. Our understanding is that those fatalities were caused by the tornadoes. At a White House briefing, Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas said storm-related deaths so far were caused by tornadoes, but that the death toll could rise. Milton downed power lines and left more than 3 million homes and businesses without power. The house vibrated when the gusts really picked up. And, uh, I threw up twice. Destroyed homes were left in the storm's wake, as well as toppled trees and debris on roads. Some neighborhoods experienced significant flooding, but the Tampa Bay area appeared to have escaped the storm surge that had prompted the most dire warnings. In St. Petersburg, the roof was torn off Tropicana Field, a staging area for first responders, and a large construction crane collapsed. As of Thursday afternoon, Hurricane Milton had plowed into the Atlantic Ocean, but residents were not yet in the clear. The state was still in danger of river flooding after as much as 18 inches of rainfall.